Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In the previous video, we have created a React application. We ran the React application and we gone through a few of the important folders and files in the React application. In this video, we are going to install Bootstrap CSS library in our React application. Alright, so Bootstrap is a very popular CSS framework, guys to you know to develop a responsive website applications etc okay so we're gonna use bootstrap css library in our react application well in order to install bootstrap css library i'm gonna use npm command okay so go ahead and open one more terminal so you can see here plus icon to go ahead and click on it now i have opened one more terminal all right so before typing any command make sure that you are in a folder you are in a project folder okay just type cd react hooks frontend hit enter and you can see we are in a react hooks for frontend project now we can type the command npm install you can also give i shortcut for install and library name that is bootstrap and hyphen hyphen save so don't forget to mention hyphen hyphen save because Whenever Bootstrap library install, then one entry will be added in a package.json file. So if you can see here in a package.json in a dependency section, you cannot find Bootstrap uh, here because we haven't installed Bootstrap yet. Okay. So once we install Bootstrap, then Bootstrap entry will be added in a dependency section. Okay. So let me install the Bootstrap. Okay. So here is a small typo. This should be install okay so go ahead and hit enter and you can see here bootstrap library is installing and there we go once bootstrap installs successfully you can check package.json file and within a package.json file within a dependent section you can see bootstrap 5.1.1 okay bootstrap entry is added all right great it means that we have installed bootstrap library by using the npm command now what we'll do we'll import a bootstrap in our react application so go to index.js index.js is our starting point so at the top we are going to import a bootstrap file import bootstrap dist css slash bootstrap dot min dot css okay that's it only two steps guys we need to install bootstrap using npm command and we need to import a bootstrap file in index.js file all right now we are good to use bootstrap css well this is the first method you can use alternative methods like you can directly uh, you know go to go to google and just type bootstrap for you cdn okay you can directly give cdn links for example we can just copy the cdn link from the official website and uh, you can go to index.html in the public folder we have index.html and go to address section and here you can paste this link okay and once you add this link in a header then you are good to use bootstrap css lab uh, classes okay this is the second uh, approach so i suggest you to install the bootstrap and use the bootstrap css uh, you know file in your react application so don't go for this cdn links okay great all right guys let me recap what we have done in this video we have installed bootstrap using npm and we have imported bootstrap uh, you know library in index.js file in next video what we'll do we'll create a react component and we'll start using react hooks all right i will see you in the next video